wee bit unusual to ride around. Anything like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You should instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Torvin! Heads up, Captain! <laughs> Time to go hunting! <laughs> deadly hunter needs a deadly... Time for the hunt of a lifetime! However short that is! I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think, what would Torben do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Graug hurls you there. I'm ready to fight the Graug. And that's just what you do. Fight! No art, no finesse! The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing, it's bigger than that! From your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Krog is very, very big! Oh, oh wait, you're mocking me! Krogs are one of the oldest species of Mordor, and the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this Krog. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Graug from Mount Dolmed to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The Graug knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this crowd for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty Grau will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. Whoa! The corridors are too quiet. I don't think the Krog is home. 
Then we go in and we wait. Ambush? How military. I like it. That's just as sharp as a day our father made it.
I think he's dead. <laughs> ah! 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 Well, that's what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time, I'm not going to let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what do you say? We put no, some no, chance no, on... I have to do this on my own. If you survive, <clears throat> come near the Blue Mountains. Eh? <laughs> and lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. Well, I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> Father, they say you are a criminal. The white tree, the very symbol of Gargo, is on its third life, dear Helen. Replanted with. I hope that Torvin finds his way home. Now that his hunt is over. If he does, then he will find his home is not as he left it. Thank you. I found the Mithril Hammer. Can your flames show me why my soul was denied death? You... You are the victim of a blood sacrifice be broken. Destroy the Black Hand and his followers and claim Mordor. No men of Gondor will come to my head. <laughs> Do I do this? You're a 
answers are in the fortress nearby, but what you seek may not be there for much longer. Mm-hmm.